Hello, welcome, Devil Sniper here, and today I'm bringing you episode number 19 of our career mode with West Ham United. We're going to start off the episode with an away game to Norwich City. Norwich City have proven to be a bit of a bogey side. We did smash them earlier in the season in the league, but of course they did knock us out of the Carling Cup. Carling Cup, I mean the Capital One Cup. Where I got the Carling Cup from, I do not know, but the Capital One Cup, they knocked us out of it, and it, it's just one of those teams that seem to be plaguing me so we have a, a tough away trip in my opinion against Norwich of course it would be in the snow that's come literally out of nowhere not a substance I'm used to playing in being from Brasilia you know I'm not used to, to snow of, uh, of this I'm used to beautiful beautiful rain or extremely hot weather not snow so it's something I'm not used to but it doesn't make any difference. I set the boys up in the same way, hoping that they can dig out a victory. But of course, straight away, Norwich in on a massive, massive... How was that not a penalty? I don't even know why I can actually say that with a straight face. That was a massive chance for Norwich, and it should have been a penalty. There's no two ways about it. Adrian did not get anywhere near the ball. He took the player out, but thankfully the referee did not award it. And Norwich really did start to dominate the game. It just gave him an impetus to carry on they really did put us on the back foot we didn't you know play attacking at all we were really negative we felt like we were negative I think it was due to the formation I wanted to switch the formation up try a few things out it just wasn't working out even Sacco breaking into the box just didn't work out we had an opportunity just to lift it over the keeper he neglected to take it and you can see it was just an absolutely good God awful first half. It really was disappointing. I don't think the conditions really helped at all in any way, shape, or form. I still can't get over the fact that we got away with that penalty decision. I mean, that was a massive moment in the game. Should have been a penalty. Absolutely should have been a penalty. But thank our lucky stars that it wasn't. Houlihan started to cause us a lot of problems at the start of the second half. Really getting in amongst it. And then, of course, Morgan picks up what seems to be at this moment, we seem to be picking up regular yellow cards. Thankfully, not all the same players, but. My God, to get a yellow for literally <laughs> taking out the player with no ball is sensational. And of course, I whipped Morgan off straight away before he committed another foul and got himself sent off and having an early bath or shower. We were just so negative. We were just not playing really well. And I've got to say, I don't even know how to dress it up. Really having an opportunity there. It has the audacity to look around saying, you know, I don't think I was offside. He's a centre-back playing as a striker there. And it was just wrong. And it was just an absolutely god-awful game. I can't dress it up. I can't make it look pretty. I really can't make it look pretty because we were just absolutely god-awful. God-awful. Even Carroll at the end of the game with an absolutely massive opportunity. Straight at the keeper. And then Downey pings one over the bar. And that is all she wrote. And I've got to say... I'm glad to see the back of Norwich because that was just an utter, utter disgraceful performance. And not a performance I'm proud of as a manager and not a performance I really want to see again from my boys. Man of the match has to go to Adrian. Couple of really big saves in that game. Couple of really big important saves at crucial points. And uh, it managed to keep us in in the game and obviously picking up a point is fantastic. We now move on to our next game which is of course in the FA Cup and we have Rotherham coming to the Bolan. Again we're going with a changed formation and a changed side as you can see Chambers, Burke, Collins O'Brien at the back, Bastos Leggett in the CDMs and Jarvo, Mullin Downing and of course Yusuf Polson up top. Quite an attacking team essentially we're, we're, we're literally trying to play a 4-2-4 which is a little bit... Um, it's, it's risky. It's risky. Even against Rotherham, you know, they may not be the greatest team in the world. It's a bit of a risky attempt at it. But hopefully, it's just going to, you know, I want to bed the young lads in, you know. Leggett needs to break into the first team. He is a, he is a cracking little player. I just want him to, to kick on a little bit. You know, Bastos getting mitts on the pitch. It's good for him. Same with Chambers. I want him to get minutes on the pitch. Same with Berkey. You know, I'm going to be looking to him in a couple of seasons to be nailing down a first team position. He's got a start. So it's, a, it's that simple. And you can see, you know, Collins, the old head there, doing a great job. That's why I've got Berkey playing alongside Collins, because he's a great old head. It's a lot easier than having him play alongside Tompkins and Reedy. It's just great having Collins in there. But you would have seen Collins was struggling with an injury there, and Rotherham nearly scored. So I had to take him off, make that early change. Which, you know, injuries at this moment in time are, are blighting us, which is not good. But Mullin with a beautiful ball into Downing. He cuts inside, and then he's taken out from behind. But that was great play by Mullin. A 
great interception by Downing to get onto the end of the pass. And unfortunately, the Rotherham defender just didn't know what to do. Downing steps up as Noble's not on the park. So don't panic thinking I'm giving penalties to, to just Downing because he got the penalty. Noble is not on the park. The Cockney genius is in the crowd celebrating and enjoying the game as he deserves a rest because he's put in a, a phenomenal shift throughout the season, to be honest. So is he actually on the bench? I think I might put Noble on the bench because uh, you can't be too far from your Cockney genius. But Rotherham, literally, they, they were tearing us apart so, so much. Honestly, they were tearing us apart. I think I played too negatively. I set the boys up too negatively. I set the boys up to sit back far 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 too much and uh, it wasn't really good didn't make for an enjoyable game which from the first game going from the Norwich game I really wanted to have a positive game against Rotherham and knock the goals in but it just didn't seem to happen the boys just played in a negative fashion Rotherham wanted the game massively they really did put a lot of pressure on us great ball to the back post there but the lad is going really nowhere he knocks it inside and of course Adrian after that Norwich game pulls off yet another world class save Mullen getting to the byline Cuts inside. Nice little fake shot. Pulls it back onto his left foot. And unfortunately, the keeper is equal to the opportunity. I then decided to take off Bastos. Get Diego Poya on the pitch. Get him some minutes under his belt. Because again, he's another player that needs to have some minutes under his belt. Because I'll be looking to him, you know, perhaps next season or the season after, to be nailing down a first place opportunity. A first place shirt. Getting him in the side. And getting him playing for that Hammers. Because he is a potential player really is a potentially great little player that was enough though thankfully that was a bloody enough because it was just a god awful game they outpassed us they really did their pass accuracy was phenomenal their opportunity taking was absolutely diabolical and unfortunately i've got to say episode 19 is an absolute letdown in my personal opinion you know a 1-0 win in the fa cup is fine it was against rotherham a 0-0 draw against Nor Nor norwich is just not on and it was a disgraceful performance we did pick up a few quid from the fa cup and of course Collins after that injury is out for three weeks.